sadly, we've had we've had a dilemma, a dilemma. Well, rather more than a dilemma, uh, a disaster. A disaster, yeah, yeah, it was. So, so anyway. Hey. The channel. My name is Ian. Hi, and I'm Jane. And this is our first day at Edinburgh Festival Fringe 2023. Uh, and our train journey was rather uneventful, wasn't it? Yep, nothing um, to write home about. No, but when we got into Edinburgh, things yeah, sort of was, livened up. We joined the queue to uh, get the lift. There were an awful lot of people with big bags. But what rather livened it up was this gentleman who was... Uh, he had, he had sort of, um, he, on the back of his jacket was, he was a helper or greeter or something. Yeah, like a station, he, he was, he was station, a station... Station greeter, I think. Yes, yeah, and he had a fantastic top hat, yeah. didn't he? With a, a big beard. Yeah, there was a little... I wish I'd taken a picture of him, actually. Yeah, there was a little sprig of something. Yeah, in his, in his, yeah, and yeah. he was he was just wonderful. And he had us in, he was, he had us in stitches, because we were waiting for the, for the, uh, the lift to come. Yeah. Well, we shared a lift, in fact, twice. But the first time we shared this lift with him, he was helping a lady. And then there were a group of young people. One of them was which was holding this big plant. Yeah. And she said she'd already lost one leaf or something. Or anyway, then he grabbed... Um, There's a mop. Because like, somebody said, have you got the mop? Yeah. yeah. Another chap had a mop. Um, and he grabbed that this this the greeter and said, "Oh, it was Harry Potter's." Um, yes, that's right. Know, yeah. Um, She's, this is Harry Potter land or something yeah, like that, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Anyway, it we was really, we was... then shared a lift again with this this group of young people, and we just said, "Are they props?" And they went, "Oh yes, you know." And uh, they were doing tartuffes. Um, it was a female. No, in fact, I'm going to have to look yeah, it up. Look at, well. Anyway, it's tartuff, um, but it was a particular sort of aspect of Molière's play so and I will look it up so that I get it right yeah um we can I look it up on, on yeah, the iPad yeah, yeah. on the iPad um we said that we wouldn't be able to see them this week but we are coming back so we're hoping to go and see them and they seem like a really good bunch actually yeah and it's their first time at the Fringe, Fringe yeah. so, so very great. exciting very exciting what was it called you said? Uh, it's Tartuffe so it's T A R. Oh, I need to get on the Fringe website. Right. Uh... Oh, I've got no internet now. Oh. Okay, so maybe not. <laughs> okay, that was the end of that. Well, no, it isn't because I can. You can do it. Yeah, I can have a quick look. Just talk among yourselves for me. I'll cut this bit out. Yeah. So, T A T A R, here we go, Tatouf, that's right. It's Tatouf the Imposter, a feminist reimagining. So, page 309, and I'm going to tell you. So, this is theatre. Because it's under, it's theatre. And there we go. So it is Green Sun Productions, comedy political. Inspired by Moliere's 17th century satire, Tartuffe has been reimagined with a feminist twist. Green Sun Productions gives you, sorry, brings you an exploration of how Moliere's world of hypocrisy, patriarchy and sexism may not be so distant, dot, dot, dot. Oh, and it's a space. All right, well, yeah, ah, we will, we're definitely right, going to... Okay. So when we come back, oh, this is our second week. Oh, no, we can't. Is it, don't tell me it's not here, are we? They're only here till the 12th. 
That's a shame. Well, actually, uh, what, day, what time of day is it? It's uh, on. It is at seven forty in but, the evening. Oh, no, no, I think we're pretty much. I think seven o'clock to yeah, seven forty. Fourth to the sixth, and then seventh. To I will fourth. look, but I, I think I think we're pretty oh, much. Oh, what a shame. Anyway. Anyway, right. so we're giving them a, a shout. Shout out, yeah. And so, if it sounds like your bag, go see them because they're a good bunch. Yes. I mean, it was yeah. it was so funny that you know. They yeah. Were, yeah. It was, uh, yeah, sharing it was good, them, good share, Sharing a lift with them was good fun. Yeah, yeah, it was. So, right. and our plan for today was just to go and see a couple of what are called sh uh, showcases. Now, sh what showcases are is where they they put a number of acts on um, uh, just so that you can see a snippet of them. Uh, and then if you if you like them, you, 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 can, you can book and go and see them. Now, Annoyingly, the stand, which is the comedy club, um, decided to have their showcase on exactly the same night that Assembly, uh, another big organisation, were having their gala programme. The difference between these two is I think the, the stand show was just press. There was no mm. public allowed in. Whereas the Assembly Gala programme is open to anybody, so you can buy a ticket. I think tickets for about 16 50 something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and you get two hours worth of, um, of a fantastic show. More about that in a minute, because I had intended... Well, we did film it, but we'll come back to that. But let's talk about the stand first. Yes. So th and th th there was a clash, because the stand was... Uh, Six o'clock for a seven uh, six o'clock drinks for a seven o'clock start until nine o'clock, and uh, assembly was a seven o'clock drinks with an eight o'clock start. So, what we worked out was we could go to the first half of the stand and then dash over to the mound and actually see all of the assembly, and that's exactly what we did do. So, uh, I'll put in the I'll put in the description down below the. The, the full list of who was on the stand show, but we only saw the first half, didn't we? So, um, and rather than saying what was good or bad, and we're not scoring this out of five, uh, who who out of it would you want to go and see again? Um, I think they were, um, I liked the first guy. Yeah, so there was a host, which was Susan Morrison. Yeah. Um, I have to say, the only thing I would say about Susan, she didn't really do a, an act, so we don't really know what her act was like. But there was lots, she, there was lots of whooping and getting us to clap an awful lot before we yeah. even started, which I have to say, I don't know about you, Jay, but I no, found that quite irritating. Uh, but we didn't really see her set, so we can't comment on that. Yeah. I agree with you. James Nokis. Nokis? I don't know. Yeah, Nokis. It's N-O-K-I-S-E. Uh, he was really funny. I mean, yeah, uh, it's worth also mentioning, these guys were only given three minutes. Yeah. And they kept to three minutes. And they did keep to three minutes. Although so I think previously pretty... there was a light at the back. Yeah. And I mean, there wasn't any light. One guy got his phone out and actually checked to make sure that it was... Um, I mean, and how you engage an audience to that extent in three minutes is brilliant because actually all of them did. Uh, they did, they did. He was very good. He was really good. Um, I also liked the next guy, Robin Innes. Yes, Robin Innes. Well, uh, I, yeah, I've heard him on Radio 4, have you? I think. I yeah, would go yeah. see him. Yeah, um, in fact, maybe when we come back, we might try and, yeah, you know, see yeah, if we can, yeah. you know. And uh, Seymour Mace. I can't remember which one, which one he was. Um, he was the young, I think he was the guy that had, um, it was his first fringe or... Oh, him, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, he yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. I, was it Ada Campy? Was she the... Is it Campy? Yeah, she was the lady with the amazing... Uh, she has an incredibly deep voice. Oh, and yeah, I remember right, okay, her yeah. from last year. She had the ship hat on, which yeah. was... I mean, her, ma her, her, her costume was amazing. Yeah, um, yeah. I'd have to say, it's not really my bag. No, no, but, but um, she but was very She was entertaining. Though, she was good. I really liked the next girl... Um, oh, Mar Marjolaine Marjolaine Robin Robinson. Robinson. Yeah, and I would no, like to. I would like to go see yeah, her actually if yeah. we could. If we yeah. if we could fit her in. Yeah. Um, Seymour Mace, we liked. Yeah. Um, David Quirk. I can't remember what he was like really. 
but he no, I quite liked him. Simon Munnery's always good fun. Always, always good fun. He's a bit poetry and comedy. Yeah, and, and he did give us a poem in those quite three minutes. Surreal. Yeah. Quite surreal. Quite yeah. surreal. But those, you know, from the now, um, the first half. We would have filmed it, but right at the beginning, and I would have even just taken some photographs. But the stand comedy club said uh, no filming, no photographs. So we were scuppered really um, by that. But hey ho, uh, like I said, I didn't see the second half. But there were some really good people in there: Joe yeah. Caulfield, Paul Sinner. Um, most of those people I haven't seen no, before, but. No. I can imagine it was just as uh, yeah. just as good as yeah. the first half. Yeah. It was a good first half. Yeah, uh, but it but it's really it's really quite um, well. It is fast paced. Um, it's quite punchy because everybody only does three minutes. Yeah. So you do get a good flavour though. Um, so we hot footed. We hot footed it. We did a run. Well, you walked incredibly quickly, and I was a bit coming behind, puffing up, um, anyway, puffing and puffing up some hills. So. We ended up at the Assembly Gala. And we had a slight... Because I had, I had agreed with Hannah and, and the press manager that we could film, because lots of people were filming, and that we didn't need a particular... We were happy to film from a seat. And then we were shuffled up into the uh, upper circle of the venue and... Um, then there was a, we were we were held back and not allowed not allowed to go in to the bit. And we wanted to sit near the front, obviously, because we wanted to be able to see the stage. Anyway, I mean, eventually, because other people started coming from a different area, we managed to get in, and it was all it was it wasn't resolved that well. I don't think really was it. Anyway, it was resolved. It was resolved. Yeah. So, but this we saw the whole show, and this was different in the sense that they've got much longer so we it was sort of approximately 15 15 minutes. 20 minutes and it felt like a you felt like a, you got to see a good bit of a shot of each show um and it was a good variety um uh, hosted by jason Byrne. and I, we've seen jason Byrne on tv i've never seen him do stand up and he was absolutely brilliant he was very I mean, yeah, I mean, if I would go see his show, I mean, he because and he and he, he worked a lot that night because he because he he came on, uh, he, he, did, did. he did a spot at the beginning and then he, he came on with with Charles Ban Charles Brandreth, didn't he? he and did. he did a two hander and he was in and out all night and actually yeah. he was he was brilliant. But it was great because he involved there were certain people in the the audience. The audience. Um, I just, um, can we talk about no. Stanley? Oh, Stanley, yes. Uh, a gentleman. A gentleman who, who was 80, sat in the front row, and, I mean, Jason started to sort of, he had banter with him, and, you know, he was taking the mickey out of him a bit. But honestly, and he got him up on stage at one point to have a, sell -up, to have a photograph with him. He was brilliant. He was absolutely, he was, he, I mean, he, he brought the house down. He got the biggest cheer at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. So Stanley, who is 80, Irish man, living in Scotland, and he was a photographer retired he was just amazing he was absolutely brilliant it was very very good fun. yeah but um yeah i mean yeah he was a, a superb host was jason <laughs> oh my god oh, i'm cool well done kev are you all right come back kev. come back here for a second we'll see how you are can, can we make an applause there jeff because this is like Oh, that's a good leg, man. And you, and you just had a baby? Yeah, a little run in, just arrived. Is that your first baby? My third, so I've done it before. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I've got two men, they're different, yeah. So what happened? What happened? Just in rehearsals, to so do a bit of moving around. I was going to do an act tonight called Card Dance, but I had to change things around. <laughs> oh, can you do it anyway? Sure, it's going to be brilliant. It doesn't matter about your fault. You're a fucking genius. Give her an applause. Give her an applause. Nice, Kev. Oh, my God. Right, so, look, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the end of the night, which is amazing. 
I know, it's been some amazing stuff happening all together. So, can you give a big round of applause for Alexander, who still stayed here? Give a round of applause for joining in, he's brilliant. <laughs> no here. Our friend from New York, don't forget, our friend from New York, don't forget, Again, I'll put the the full list of the acts that were on. Um, so, what would I mean? What would be your first act that you want to go and see? Well, I generally I really want to see J M Coetzee's Life and Times of Michael K. That uh, that um, I've got. So this was the fourth one in. Where's my postcard? Oh. Um, oh. I'll put them all down. Oh, right. Um, th this was oh, it was really something special i mean it, it was it was it was mesmerizing and you um, it up with you. There yeah it yeah so uh it's adapted for stage by lara foot it's in collaboration with the handspring puppet company and i mean i don't know sort of anything more than about it ah interestingly i'm just reading here the handspring puppet company of the public company that were involved with um, War Horse. Oh, which, we saw War Horse in the um, West End. And at ago. one point, the, the the figure of Michael Kay, I always thought he... He always was real. Because the movement of his legs yeah. in particular, yeah, yeah. and I thought, there's somebody in a costume. I mean, I, it, it really, I, I, it took me a while, I'm, I'm trying to think, but no, it's a puppet. Um, it, was, it was. I mean, it was a superb piece. There, there wasn't. Really. Um, and, there wasn't much speech in it no. because it was all visual. But it was uh, captivating. I mean, the whole place and a really, was silent, watching, and we were really, yeah. really. Um, and a really, in really it. involving soundtrack. Yeah. Quite yeah. an atmospheric yeah. soundtrack that yeah. went with it. I could yeah. noticed the music straight away. I thought, but yes, we will definitely. We will be going to try and see that. Yeah. Definitely. If not this week. Yeah, well, it's, it's on um, from the 3rd till the 27th of August. Because we'd like to review at it. At the main hall and at, at the assembly yeah. hall um, at yeah. midday. So definitely going to go to see that. Um, what else? I mean, the Umbilical brothers were very funny. I would pick them. They were... I mean, they, they, they did come out and they said, our show is part multimedia with cameras and all that. And we ain't got any of that. 
and they just stood there and they did so one guy was singing so a cappella and the other guy was was to just say that he was doing beatboxing yeah. is not not enough he was doing incredible sound effects with his with a microphone yeah and it was very very funny it was brilliant really yeah. and i like i want to see the whole incredibly show incredibly inventive yeah um, yeah, yeah really really yeah. good um very much like to go and see them um and, and we had we had ballet and some dance shows which i'll be honest they aren't my sort of thing and you're i don't like no i, don't speak I mean for you, but yeah i mean but they were really vi well done but if, visually if very very striking yeah and if yeah. dance is your thing they're they're certainly check them out because they were they, they were very very entertaining we're really good mm. but yes, it's just not will. our thing really is it um no but um no they were all yeah fantastic performances actually from everybody um i think it's those what about the the, the african l l cirque cirque oh Afrique en cirque so oh, they that, were they that was that, i mean that, that was, was quite stunning i mean that was I've part got... dance they, were, they, they brought a, a whole drum kit and a whole band on stage at this point. Yeah. Which was, and Jason had to fill for that. That's when he got, uh, he got Stanley up. So he, he had quite a long, a, a, a long area, to, a long time to fill because they were actually uh, having to set everything up. Um, but they were, I mean, the, the, a, the band were great. They had dancers the guy i don't know what instrument he was no yeah, i'm just trying to see whether i can play. find them um, yeah they're like a, a so it's part concert at the beginning and then these dancers come out and these th these men who were doing these flips were 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 absolutely the, incredible the physicality yeah and, uh, wow yeah it was really quite and it was you know and he had the all of they had the, the whole audience going, he had us doing call back and things like that, didn't he? It was very, very, it was very, very, I think it would be a good hour. Yeah, it doesn't say what um, instrument it is, but it's, um, yeah, performed by the Cirque Calabante. So it's acrobatics and music. Um, they share the beauty and artistry of African culture. Experience acrobats executing gravity-defying moves and human pyramids, all to the contemporary sounds of African contemporary music. Enjoy the world of Calabante. So that's at the Assembly Hall, Main Hall, again. Yeah. Um, they're on... There are some breaks, but they're basically here from tomorrow right up to the end. Um, I think the times change... Oh, no. Uh, yeah. No, they're mostly on, yes, they are on at five past five in the afternoon. So, I mean, um, definitely worth a, worth a look. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, like I say, we're not particularly into sort of dance and that sort of, we're into music. But actually, mm. there was so much going on in that, that I think that the whole show will be really good. Mm. And, mm. you know, and he, clearly, the lead guy who came out uh, right at the beginning gets the audience going, doesn't oh, he? Yeah. He does, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, the whole thing was superb. The problem we had was I'd filmed about an hour and a half of it um, on our GoPro and thinking there might be a break halfway through. There was no break. It was two hours solid. And I then tried to change the battery in the dark, put the battery the wrong way. I had to get James nail file to try and get the battery out. So while we were... We have got some bits, but only the bits towards the end, and we'll we'll include them, or I'll include a little bit of it, so you get a feel for it. Um, and in the process, I have fried the memory card. It's in two pieces, and we are unsure as to whether the GoPro will even work now. So we may be using the iPhone 13 for the whole trip. But we're going to try and find a, try and get another memory card tomorrow. Yes. So my intention was to to put a, a link in the description with the whole whole of the assembly show on, so that if you were interested, you could actually see all of the acts. Sadly, we've had a, we've had a dilemma, a dilemma. Well, rather more than a dilemma, uh, a disaster. A disaster, yeah, yeah, it was. So, so anyway. anyway. 
Um, it won't stop us. It won't stop us. Tomorrow we've got uh, another showcase in the afternoon. If we go, in the morning we're going to see if we can go, go and buy a memory card. Um, and then we are going to, out to Tyne Castle uh, Football Stadium to see uh, a show which we haven't seen before, but we've seen the last two two shows that this company have done. And the last two shows in the previous last two years have been absolutely brilliant. So we, we, we know how good these guys, these guys are. Yeah. So that's something to look forward to tomorrow. Yeah. So uh, thanks so much for watching. And if you want to subscribe and all that sort of stuff, you are quite welcome. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So, are we going straight into the next act or do you have to clean, clear the stage here? Not too sure. Do you just have to clear this? No? Yes? No, we do. We do? Do we? Hang on, I better check. Hang on. This is not part of the thingy. Are we clearing? Are we going straight in? No, we're not going straight in. We're clearing. We're clearing the stage? Okay. Literally, the techies do not even talk to you when they're in front of you like this. <laughs> <laughs> they're back there going, no, we're going to clear the stage. Right. And where's he gone, the fella? Is he okay? He's gone to Lou. Thank you. That's okay, very nice fella, all together. Is he an electrician, that fella? No, I'm not Darren Brown, it's okay, I don't... <laughs> Fucking Dennis. But what's, what's his name? Steve, do you have to... Are you pointing at the empty chair? <laughs> Steve. That's nice, good old Steve. Where's, where's, what's, has Steve got like a nickname or anything like that? No, just you and Steve. That's it, just fucking flat dude. Do you know Steve, that lady? Yeah, does he have any? His nickname is fucking Dumper. <laughs> Do you know why I asked that, right? I don't know how he could just feel certain places to go to, but when she said he didn't have a nickname, that friend was with him and went, oh. <laughs> He does so? Is he called Dumper? It's not because of like smelly poos, or is it because he's like... <laughs> is it? It is! <laughs> oh, we can't, we can't, when he comes back out, we have to pretend we didn't know that. Look at his wife, she's fucking mortified. <laughs> this is, this crowd just keep giving and giving and giving. <laughs> now we know where he's gone. Bloody act, ladies and gentlemen. But it's Selena, yeah, we're in the George Square and they're on the half twelve. <laughs> so we're ready for the next act. Just stop messing the lot of you. God, can't believe Dumper's in the Dumper. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're all getting very giddy now. <laughs> we're really there. So, are we all ready for the next act, ladies and gentlemen? The next act? Are we all ready? It's such a great night. You're doing brilliant. And please welcome to the stage, you
William and York Circus! And now please keep a round of applause going for Mr. Kevin Quantum of the Dog! Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on ever. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the best act to end the festival gala. Not the festival, not over. Did you just yawn, that man? No, it's okay. You've been looking after Stanley. You will fucking sleep away. Right. <laughs> okay, let's have, let's go wild. Come on, let's get wild for the last act. You've been amazing. A huge, huge one. Bring crew men down in the middle. Let's get him up. I'm doing this in the audience. I'm doing this in the audience. Because that's what, that's what Cat Ray is. Just doing shit in the audience and pretending that drinking gin is the same thing as having a personality. All right, excuse me, could you, thank you very much, this is fine, this is fine. Oh, that's a lovely noise. Maybe I'll just do this under the monitor. No, by all means, don't move, don't worry. I love this, reminds me to clean my dildo. All right, it's a lie, I don't clean it, I love texture. Has it been six minutes yet, can I go home? Tell me this. Does this outfit make my father look present? <laughs> so this song is a country and western song. I can speak the language of the oppressor. And he said that country and western music is just four chords and the truth. But with a little work from us, it could mean neither. <laughs> summer I turned 18. We lived in a one-room run-down shack on the outskirts of New Orleans. We didn't have money for food or rent, to say the least. We were hard-pressed, and Mama spent every last penny we had to buy me a dancing dress. You was You look like my mother in this situation. <laughs> yeah, I'll take this off you. It's like you're going down on a bear. <laughs> oh, a bear. <laughs> if you go down in the woods today, <laughs> bend me over a log, treat my asshole like an upturned beehive. <laughs> Find the queen. <laughs> and just in real life, you won't have to dig very long. <laughs> just let that penny drop in real time, shall we? <laughs> This is fun. Last time I was in the UK was when the Queen died. If you want something done. <laughs> she said, just be nice to the gentleman, Fancy. <gasps> Can you imagine my mother saying something like that to me? It's so traumatic. I'm definitely going to win an award for this. <laughs> and awards matter. Because art should be placed in direct competition with other art. <laughs> so it can exist in a hierarchy. Because art is just sport for faggots. 
Fairy dust, fairy dust, fairy dust. You are now a homosexual. <laughs> Do that. I don't know. Right. I've been Jason Byrne. See you through the whole month. Good night. Good night. Good night.